Shalom, this is GMS on the sit down is coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua Bashem Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there, the spreading this word, the society, and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. God is going to be a quick hit. We're going to go over these scriptures that you see in front of you right now from John chapter 9. Okay, wherein in John chapter 9, the blind man was healed. Okay, then you had the Pharisees coming and they uh, went to question the man uh, that was born blind. They went to his parents to question them. And it's just a bunch of confusion. They, they was just uh, digging for the truth that was right there in front of them, man. This man was born blind, Yahusha healed him, and now he sees. Okay? And on top of that, it was the Sabbath, if I'm correct. Um, and it was the Sabbath day, yeah, verse 14. And it was the Sabbath day when Yahusha made the clay and opened his eyes. So that was, that was another thing that they had a problem with, of course. Which that makes no sense because you're healing someone, man. You give sight back unto a blind man. That's why we also go out in the highways and byways on the Sabbath. Okay, if the Sabbath falls on a on a Saturday, uh, we also go out in the highways and byways because why? We are spiritually um, letting the deaf hear and the blind to see. Okay, we're preaching his word and the people that are blind, okay, we want to make them see again. And Yahusha was referring to that same thing spiritually um, in this in this uh, passage, but he, he did it physically, man. He physically um, made a blind man to see again. Now those powers, that spiritual power is go going to come in the future, but now we are doing it spiritually. Okay, we are healing. We are making the blind to see. So those that are blind to this truth, <clears throat> those that don't have the understanding of the scriptures, we're breaking it down to them. And if they open their eyes, they see and know this truth. Okay, the heirs uh, that are not able to hear <clears throat> will hear if they accept this truth. So this is um, John chapter 9, verse 35. Yahweh Shai heard that they had cast him out. And when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of the Most High? Okay, the Son of the Most High. So that shows you this trinity is also nonsense. Because you had Vogue Malone, I'm watching this thing right now. Trinity, by biblical or made up, Israelite apostle, verse Versus Christian debate. I'm watching this right now. And you had Vokap uh, making some idi idiotic statements. That he. Uh, that God is um, split into three. Uh, personas. This, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, Shai, And then uh, uh, the Most High himself. And that Yahushua also made claims that he is the Most High because he said, ah, before Abraham was, I am. But that was after he was telling the, the um, uh, Pharisees that, why are you angry at me if I call my son, uh, myself the Son of God? Meanwhile, in your scripture, it says, ye are gods. Psalms 82 and, and, uh, and 5, if I'm correct. Uh, so he making some idiotic statements. <clears throat> so what happened to this man? Um, he was teaching them. Let me actually, let me start at. Um, let me start at um, 33, John 9 and 33. If this man were not of the most high, he could do nothing. That's what, what, the, what the, uh, the man said that was, be made, uh, that was once blind. They answered and said unto him. Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Okay, so this 
these were a bunch of sad individuals because they got put on the spot by a man that is not even even deep in the scriptures okay he's not even deep in in faith he just he just got made uh, he just uh uh was made seeing again okay um so they cast him out of the synagogue Yahushai heard that they had cast him out and when he had found him he said unto them so lucky he said unto him does thou believe on the son of the most high he answered and said who is he lord that i might believe on him Yahusha said unto him thou hast both seen him and it is he that talketh with thee he said lord i believe and worshiped him now this is uh, a cut for uh, for sikari okay that or any group that says you ain't supposed to worship the lord Yahushai. If this was a, a not a good thing to do, then Yahushai would have said, hey, don't worship me. Just like how the angel said, don't worship me in the book of Revelation, when uh, John the Revelator bowed down to him. Okay? Guess what? That's not the case. So here again, Yahushai didn't mention anything. He just kept talking to him. Verse 39, and Yahushai said, for judgment I am come into this world. That they which see not might see. Okay, spiritually, wake up to this truth. Understand the wisdom, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, or receive the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, um, letting their eyes be opened to the truth and the true purpose of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, um, Revelation chapter 5, verse 5 shows you that Yahweh Shai was able to open with seals, man. Revelation 5 and 5, and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. So Yahushua came in the world. He, he, he brought the, the true purpose of the Heavenly Father. He revealed it unto his uh, disciples. And this truth came into uh, into the world, man. The whole truth came into the world, okay? Because that was not known before Yahushai came in the world. We was just under the law, had to keep the law to the best of our ability, in order to live a long life. But the way into the kingdom was not was not there yet, okay? Like it says in Galatians three, verse um, verse twenty one. Is the law then against the promises of the Most High? The Most High forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. So there was not a law by which there was not a law by which uh, Jay could uh, make it into everlasting life, man. Whereby Jay could make it into the kingdom. That there was no such thing, man. And there still is not a such thing. Okay, so we was just uh, doing our thing. Walking our day-to-day -day lives. Trying to keep the laws to the best of our ability. But a way towards salvation, there was not. Verse 22. But the scripture had concluded all under sin. So if everyone is under sin, what hope was there? There was no hope. That the promises by faith of Yahweh Shai might be given to them that believe. So through Yahweh Shai, we uh, uh, we will receive those promises, man. Okay, through Yahweh Shai, we can enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So that was the case before Yahweh Shai came on the scene, and when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, that truth was being brought and. Uh, if you, if you, uh, he that had ears, let him hear. If your ears are open to the truth, you, um, you're not deaf no more. If you, if you can see, you're not blind no more. So that's what Yahusha said. Let me read that again. John chapter nine, verse thirty-nine. Yahusha said, "For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see." might be made blind exactly so those that claim to see okay are gonna be uh, denied by Yahweh Shai. 
They're going to be made blind. They're going to be fully um, uh, rebellious against this truth, man. The angel is not going to uh, 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 open his ears unto this truth because he basically, he, uh, he sees this truth. He sees it for what it is, but he, he chooses to, to rebel against it. You see, because these uh, Pharisees back in the days, they saw that he was the anointed. They saw that he was Yah that Yahweh Shai was the anointed, okay. But they would they ju was just fighting against it. They that see, meaning those that have the understanding of the scriptures, he would make them blind, man. You see, uh, seeing you don't want to accept it, then it's not for you, then. Like it says, um, seeing you put it off. This is Acts 13 and 46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it was necessary that the word of the Most High should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles, which are Israelite foreigners. But the Jews in Israel, okay, they did not accept Yahweh Shai. But it had to be preached unto them first. But the seeing you put it off, seeing you don't want to accept it, hey, we're going to go to the Israelite foreigners, man. The Israelites that are scattered uh, across the world to give them this truth. Those that were once cut off, man. How do you get cut off? If you break certain laws, it says let, uh, let him be cut off from Israel. Man gets cut off from Israel. He goes into another land. He builds up a family there and does whatever. Okay, and now he refers to himself to a man of that country and his children's children also. Okay, so um, they put it off of themselves, man. Meanwhile, they knew, they knew the truth, man. So they weren't blind. They saw it, but they stumbled, man. They stumbled because they just had a big problem with, with what was actually happening, happening man. Uh, what scripture is that again? I think Romans... Romans 9, verse 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, had not attained to the law of righteousness. They couldn't see it, man. And throughout the law, it was written of the Lord Yahweh Shai. They was referring to Moses. And Yahweh Shai said, had ye believed Moses, you would have believed me. Let me grab that later. Uh, verse 32. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, but they stumbled at that stumbling stone, which is Yahweh Shai. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whosoever believed on him shall not be ashamed. You see that? That shows you Daniel chapter 12. They will be ashamed in the kingdom, man, because they stumble at that stumbling stone. Those that don't stumble at him are not going to be ashamed, man. Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to the sh to shame and everlasting contempt okay so the dust represents confusion we don't know who we were we don't know what to believe in uh, or what to uh, worship but when we woke up to this truth when we were uh, uh were blind and woke up our eyes were opened our ears were opened to this truth okay the dust disappeared man Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, awake to this truth. Some to everlasting life. Yeah, man, if you continue in this truth, if you continue in the ways of Yahweh Hashem you're going to make it into the kingdom. You're going to make it into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem And some to shame and everlasting contempt. You're going to wake up in the kingdom. If you don't wake up to this truth right now, if you, if you deny it, if you don't accept it, you're going to wake up into the kingdom with shame, man. Eh? You're going to be ashamed of yourself. You're going to be ashamed that you did not worship Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You see? So, also to jump on the Romans 9 and 31, Yahweh Shai said what? Had you believed Moses... In John 5, John 5 and 46, 
For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me in the law. Yahusha was written about in the law, in the Torah, Tawarah. Okay? But if he believed not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? You see that? So they didn't attain unto it, man. They didn't, they didn't comprehend. They claimed to see, but because they claimed to see, they was not being helped, man. That's why Yahusha also said, uh, Matthew nine and twelve. Um, Matthew 9 and 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Yahusha heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Yeah, those that are whole, if you, have, if you don't have nothing, why should you be helped with herbs and healing? You, you whole, right? You ain't got no problems, right? Why should why should I be around you then? You say you know it all. You say you see. You see the scriptures. You understand the scriptures. You're not blind. You're not deaf. Why should you be helped? Okay. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous. But sinners to repentance. Now were these people righteous? No. But they thought they were. They acted like they were. Just like how they acted like they were whole. They didn't have no sickness. Which that sickness represents not understanding the purpose of the Most High. They acted like as if, as if they were not sick. Okay, you, you're not sick. Well, then you don't need a physician then. You don't need help. The same thing here. It says those that see. Okay, they will be made blind. If you don't, and it's going to explain, let me let me read it. John chapter 9, verse 39. And Yahusha said, For judgment I am come into the wo this world, that they which see not might see, and they which see uh, might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Yahusha said unto them, If ye were blind, you should have not no sin, but now ye say, we see. Therefore, your sin remaineth. Because they say that they see. They don't see. They don't understand. They don't comprehend. Okay? Some saw, some knew that uh, uh, Yahushai was uh, um, the anointed in some form, but they denied it, man. They stumbled at it. They still had a problem with it. You see? And it was also mainly because, because of their own position, man. Scared to lose their own position. Okay? A lot of them which sat uh, in high places. Okay? Were men of status. That's why also Nicodemus, he came secretly towards Yahushai. To talk. You see? So it says, um, verse 41, Yahushai said unto them, If ye were blind... You share it of no sin because then you you just have to be helped, man. You, this truth needs to be revealed unto you, and uh, uh, you will uh, you will see again if the Lord uh, would allow that. Okay, you would be healed. The blind would uh, would see again, and the deaf would hear again. You would be part of those people, and you would be in a humble state, wherein you accept that Yahweh Shai is coming to the world to take away your sin. That's why it says, ye should have no sin, but now ye say, we see, therefore your sin remaineth. You see, but you don't accept. You see, but you don't, you don't um, humble yourself and uh, um, wake up to this truth, so to speak. Okay? That's why in the kingdom you're going to have everlasting shame and contempt, finding out that you were a man that... You know, deliberately said, now I ain't going, I, I am not down with this. Claiming to know the scriptures. You see? So that's, that's the spirit that these people come in, man. 
Yahweh Yahshai is waking up the people through the spirit and power of Yahweh, uh, of, of his uh, father, and he's using his men, okay, to teach this truth. And those that did not see and understand the scriptures are starting to understand, man, are waking up to this truth, are starting to see, are starting to hear. But then you have uh, rebels of the nation of Israel, okay, that are back today, the, those same Pharisees that are back today that don't want to hear this truth, man. Okay, they are heretics. They see it, but they, they just want to battle you. The most I ain't dealing with them, man. They're back in their lot. So guess what? Um, they're going to be made blind and until the end. Not going to understand these scriptures. They are not going to understand this truth. And judgment is going to have to come upon them, man. So, yeah, man, with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham Yahshai, Basham Kakadash, Shalom to the elect.